Hello, today's video is on our stock number 35042ME, the uh, talking digital multimeter. Uh, first off, it's just comes in a nice little cardboard box uh, with a, a multi page manual. Uh, let's see here, it comes with the test leads and a little 9 volt battery, but I've already had gone ahead and installed it in the, in the meter just to save us time. There's no reason to show you that. Uh, it has the, the stand. So you can allow it to stand up on your desk. Uh, a little small little Phillips to uh, get to the uh, nine volt battery compartment. Be careful, that's a little screw. Once it's easy to lose, but uh, there we go. Okay, first off, you have the display. Uh, you have a, a button here called Hold Select. If you hold down that button, you can turn on the backlighting. Hold down that button again, and it turns off the backlighting. Um, one thing I'm not too happy with is that is the backlight automatically turns off after 15 seconds so but the, you can certainly turn it back on again uh, also it has uh, an auto shut off at 15 minutes so you, uh, you if you're not using it it will turn back off you just simply turn it turn it back on and boom All ready, right. ready to go okay so first first range is uh, your transistor tester I just happen to have a little one here like I said, we're just going to go through some of the ranges just so you can see 180 times. just how it sounds. Um, there's that transistor tester. Turn down that backlighting again. Then you have the AC ranges. Oh, I'm sorry, DC ranges. I'll just turn it to 200 volts. I hook in our, our common. And there, a red lead. I happen to have a uh, benchtop power supply off screen so you can see it working. Hear what it sounds like. DC 16.3 volt. I'll turn down the voltage so you can see it and how, how it runs. DC 8.8 .8 volt. DC 8.8 .8 volt. DC 11 .8 .8 volt. DC 12 .8 .8 volt. DC 13 .8 .8 volt. Okay, that's the, the DC volt range. And then we come into the, the AC. Uh, you have this one here, 750 volts AC, and let's turn that. Plug this in here to a little AC socket. AC true value 118 volt. Now you have a choice between true value, RMS, and uh, average. Uh, so you can see here in a little corner, turn the light on, make it see easy. This button will allow you to switch between. RMS and average value. That all, this button also will allow you to turn off the audible if you just uh, want to use it like a regular meter or you can turn it back on. I think most people want the talking part. All right, that's AC. Uh, now also if you use the press the select button you can access the Hertz. Now you notice the little display displays Hertz there. Let's go ahead and plug it back in to our Okay, let's move on next to DC amperes. I happen to have a small little motor load off. We're at 200 milliamps. We have to switch over our red lead to the milliamp section. And let's go ahead and hook up to my little motor load here off screen. Turn the voltage up a little bit just to get a Now we're just going to use the same load and switch over to the uh, the 10 amp just so you'll hear it. Hook it back up to my little motor load. Okay, and first thing I'd like to point out is uh, at the 10 amp range, uh, it's designed for testing, not continuous monitoring. I think if you continue to run 10 amps, it is, you might cause at least to, to overheat. So just for temporary, temporary measuring. All right, the next range, unfortunately, I don't have an AC amp load, but we do have this, what's called NCV, which is a AC sniffer, which is a long main end here. Now here's my.
Okay, and that's how the AC sniffer works. Uh, next we have a uh, audible continuity. And a diode tester. Okay, now let's get into the uh, resistance range. Uh, let's turn it to 200 ohms. I have a, a, a low ohm resistor over here. I believe it is 22 ohms. So let's give that a measure. 22.67. Okay. Super range. Now I have a, a 1 meg ohm resistor here. Let's turn that up to the 2 meg range. Last but not least, we have a, uh, a single capacitor range. Um, would be nice if there's a little more, a few more ranges cover a little bit more, but it's a nice little basic capacitance tester. Okay, this covers the uh, basic operation of the meter. Uh, hopefully, it lets you it lets you see how it, it sounds. It works. Uh, thank you for watching our video.